everyone say thank you for joining Mr. David, Miss Renica and Mr. Saeed for our end of year essay. Now I know that this is a very strange way to do an assembly, but I think we're all getting a little bit used to it now. And actually it might be how we do assemblies for a few more months or even years in the future. So let's get used to it and let's make the most of it. We want to talk to you about our Arc Donkey special values. And I know that you all know exactly what those values are. K E A T S. Let's say them all together now. Kindness, effort, aspiration, tenacity and success. All very, very special, important values that we chose as a school when we opened the school, when we started this school in September 2013, when year six, who were about to go off to secondary, were just starting reception. So I, I know that that feels like a long time to you all, but it doesn't feel like very long to us. Now we're all going to talk about a different value and I'm going to start by talking about kindness. Now I've said to you all before, kindness is probably my favourite and kindness is the value that I think is the best one to go first because it's so, so important. And I'm going to start by reading you a quote and I know that if you're probably in years three, four, five and six, you'll know what quote means. This is my quote about kindness. Kindness is spreading sunshine into other people's lives, regardless of the weather. Have a think about what you think that quote means. And I'm going to have a think about what it means to us at the moment. I'm going to try and explain that to you. So we've been through a very, very strange time lately since we had to close the school. And even before that, the weather was a bit choppy and maybe a bit dark and gloomy. It's brighter now, OK? The weather is brighter, but it was definitely not very nice for a while. There were lots and lots of dark clouds around. People, lots of people, were very, very unwell in hospital. We all had to stay inside. We had to close the school. We all had to do our bit to really, really help the country to fight something that we had never fought before. We all had to be really, really kind. We had to be really kind to each other. We had to be really kind to our families because we are all stuck inside together. So we had to make sure that while we were all stuck inside, we all got on. We had to really try and make sure that we were keeping everyone safe because people were doing really, really important jobs like the NHS, like the doctors and nurses. They were being super kind and doing really brave things to help keep our country all OK, to help everyone to make sure that we could get back to normal at some point. And we did it. We are getting back to a bit more like normal. And the sun is shining again. Our scholars are back in school and I know that our teachers have all been so happy to see you all in school again and to see the excellent work that you've been doing and the kindness that you have shown to everyone. The shops and the parks and the playgrounds are open again so we can start to go out and have fun with our friends and the football is even on the television. That makes me feel happy. So, time to think back and reflect. We have come through a very, very strange time and it's not over, but it's time to think back and reflect when we were going through that difficult time. How did we, how did you spread that sunshine into people's lives? How did you spread that kindness into people's lives and how are you going to keep spreading it? Because spreading kindness, spreading sunshine is a very, very important thing. And you are all children, so you can do it more easily than us because children are filled with kindness. Okay, scholars, I'm going to pass over now to Miss Renica 
and she's going to talk to you about our next value, which I know you all know is effort. Over to you, Miss Renica. Hi to all our lovely, hardworking scholars in school and those who are still learning from home. I'm going to talk to you about my favourite and a very important value, which is effort. During the time that you have learned and worked really hard from home, we have seen so many lovely pieces of effort-filled work sent to us by some of you. We have posted these on various social media platforms. We posted on Twitter, on Class Dojo, and we wrote about it in the newsletter. I know of Shifa in Year 4 that sent us fantastic comprehension work that she's finished. Crystal in Year 1 and Karam in Year 4 um, have been very creative and making very arty things at home. Oscar, Louis and Rene, they sent us truly wonderful pieces of writing about a disappearing car and how balloons lifted a flight machine. Year six had to put lots of effort into the enterprise project, creating products, and then had to sell these to see how much profit they made. All of these and many more pieces of work that we have seen took a lot of great effort. We also seen teachers, some parents and carers, put so much effort into making sure that you have all that you need to keep on learning. Scholars, I want you all to remember that we will be back in school soon and that the effort that you had to put in your, into your work um, during the past few months need to continue. Some of us will have to work even a little bit harder to make sure that we catch up with some of our work. We can only be great at some things if we try our best and put lots and lots of effort into everything we do. It is also okay not to know things, but it is not okay not to try. Year six, you are going to secondary soon and things might be slightly different and new to some of you. But always remember that you are in control of two things, attitude and effort. If you control those two values, you'll be surprised at the great things that you can achieve. I want to also thank all the parents, carers and dedicated staff for their great effort during this difficult time. To all our lovely scholars, we simply cannot wait to have you back with us in September. Stay safe, look after one another and we will see you in September. Now over to you, Mr. Saeed. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to talk a little bit about aspiration scholars. Aspiration means to really hope or have an ambition to achieve something. An ambition is having something deep in your mind and your heart that you really, really want to do in the future. For example, my ambition is to someday run a marathon. I know that's going to take a lot of hard work and I'm not there yet, <laughs> but it doesn't stop me aspiring to reach that goal and try really, really hard to get there. Because of coronavirus, a lot of people across the world have said that they're not sure that children in schools are going to be able to aspire for that much. They believe that children can't do as well as they did before coronavirus. Some people have given up on aspiring and having aspirations. They have said that children and teachers may not be as ambitious as they can. They have said that in school, we can't be as aspirational as we could, as we would usually be. But we don't think that's true. It's so important that we all have aspirations and never lose hope that we can achieve them. All your teachers believe that when you come back in September, we can be just as aspirational as we always have been. They really believe in you and we really believe in you and know that in your work, in how you speak to each other, and how you act, you can prove those people wrong. Because we all know that with hard work and a good plan, we can still really aspire to do all the amazing things we really want to do. I'm going to hand over to Mr. David now, who's going to talk about tenacity. Hi, scholars. Tenacity is all about showing determination. It's about not letting strange or difficult situations stop you from being you or achieving what you want to achieve. At the moment, as we've said, we are going through a very strange time. Coronavirus has changed a lot of things at the moment, like the ability to be in school. 
For those of you working hard at home, continuing to learn, like some of the great examples that Miss Renica has mentioned, you have shown and are showing great tenacity. For those of you that have come back to school during the last few months, whether it was for a day or for more, you have shown and are showing great tenacity. Despite the changes, you have shown great effort towards your learning, your friendships, and you are happier and stronger because of it. In September, you will need to continue this determination, this great effort to overcome the changes. If you do this, school will be the happy and engaging place it has always been. Like Mr. Said said, despite the changes, you must not give up hope. Your dreams are still within your reach as long as you stay determined to reach them. Stay safe and positive over the summer and I look forward to seeing you all in September. Over to you, Miss Bed. Oh, thank you, everyone. That was so lovely. I really, really enjoyed listening to what you said then. I hope you enjoyed that too, scholars and teachers. I just want to finish with saying a couple of words about success, our last value. We know that if we show kindness, if we put in lots of effort, if we are aspirational, and we show real tenacity, we can all achieve success. Success is in our own hands. We are in charge of our own success. And you can all be the most successful that you could possibly be if you just remember your keeps at all times. Now, I just want to say thank you. One of the best ways to show kindness is to say thank you. So I want us to say thank you. We have all been clapping for the NHS. We were clapping for the NHS throughout coronavirus. I want us to clap for AJK. I want us to clap for the children, for the parents, for the teachers, for everyone else. And I want you all to clap in your classrooms in a minute so loudly that I can hear you in my office and I've got the door shut. OK, so everyone, let's clap for AJK. <laughs> because I'm telling you now that us teachers and all of the staff at school, we will be ready, okay? We cannot wait to see you. Let's end by saying our pledge. Now, year six, this is the last time that you'll be saying, actually, you might say it in your classrooms, but the last time all together that we're going to be saying the primary pledge because when you go to secondary or to another school, you'll be saying a different pledge. So I want to hear year six the loudest and proudest. Let's take a moment to say our pledge together and to think about all of the special words in our pledge and how they're all linked to our special values. OK, so I want to see everyone saying it together. I know you haven't got your blazers or your jumpers, but hand there. Ready, steady, go. At our I will work hard every day, always try my best, and be kind to others. others. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was very strange. I think the SLT had a little bit of a delay delayed reaction then, but I'm sure you said it perfectly in your classroom. Anyway, scholars, have a lovely, lovely last day today and tomorrow. Enjoy the time that you've got in school with your teachers. And if you're at home, hopefully this assembly will help you to get really, really excited about coming back in September. We can't wait to have our AJK family together again. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Bye. 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 Bye, Bye everyone. Bye.